This week, my church and I have started a program called the Daniel Fast, a program in which we re-educate ourselves about God's original dietary plan for our bodies. So we come together, listen to a health lecture, and encourage and pray for one another as we go through this fast. And yes, it's not a fast per se, because we mainly focus on eating nuts, fruits, vegetables, and legumes. And at the beginning, my question was, how is this big fluff of a body going to be sustained with this meal plan? But as the week passes by, I am learning that my question is only questioning God's wisdom. Because God is the creator of the body, and therefore he knows how to sustain the body. And in the same manner, God created the spirit, he knows how to sustain the spirit. And if we hunger in our spirit, in our questioning, and are, are trying to fill it with other things that we don't need, we may be missing out on what God has to offer. In chapter 8 of Steps to Christ, it says this, The plants and flowers grow not by their own care or anxiety or effort, but by receiving that which God has furnished to minister to their life. The child cannot, by any anxiety or power of its own, add to its stature. No more can you, by anxiety or effort of yourself, secure spiritual growth. The plant and the child grows by receiving from its surroundings that which ministers to its life. Air, sunshine, and food. What these gifts of nature are to animal and plant, such as Christ to those who trust in him. He is their everlasting light, a sun and shield. He shall be as the dew unto Israel. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass. He is the living water, the bread of life, which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. If you're hungry in your spiritual walk, I would encourage you, pray and study the word of God, for he knows exactly what you need. With that being said, have a wonderful Friday.